We've developed a breakthrough technology that can take vast quantities of unrecyclable waste plastic across all of the different types, can be dirty, messy and commingled, and we turn it into a high quality synthetic sand which goes into a concrete and makes the end products um, stronger, lighter, better insulating, basically a better product. The exciting and, and interesting aspect of our technology is that the, the, the concrete industry is 30 times larger than the global plastics industry. So we've calculated if we replace only 2.8% of the sand used in concrete with our product, which is called Resonate, it would absorb all plastic on earth. And, and that's our ultimate goal, is, is to have a meaningful and significant impact on the global plastic waste crisis. The environmental benefits are significant. I mean, not only are we pulling waste plastic out of the environment, but we're also replacing sand which is uh, the second most traded commodity globally and it's in short supply because sand that's utilized in concrete must be irregular and typically that means it's, it's farmed or, or, or sourced from sensitive areas such as riverbeds and beaches. Um, and, and as a result, uh, there's a global shortage and, um, and a growing uh, pressure to find al sustainable alternatives. So our, our, our pilot facility only started operating uh, two months ago. We plan to upgrade to a full-scale facility early next year, which will process enormous, enormous amounts of plastic. Um, but uh, during our, uh, our operation, you know, we, we're utilizing all different uh, sources of plastic, PPE, big cleanup plastic, um, coat hangers. Our goal is not just to divert plastic from landfill. We want to have this multiplier effect on the environment and socio-economic uh, reality in South Africa. So our goal is to source as much waste as possible from the informal sector, whereby we can effectively help to, to alleviate the stress on those underserved communities and create jobs at the same time, as, as well as engaging with the various different NGOs that are involved in river interception and, and beach cleanups. Um, so, that, so that we can really have a significant and dramatic impact on this country on a number of fronts and then utilize that plastic to go and rebuild the country. So we, we're actually building so, uh, social houses early next year with Resonate in the blocks.